546 now, and today marks a pretty significant moment in Northeast Ohio history that you might not know about. Tiffany, we've watched you do a lot of great stories about your hometown, Lorraine Proud. <laughs> Always Lorraine Proud, you know, and it's really, truly an honor to do stories about your hometown, and I've learned so much. 100 years ago, life was drastically different than it is today. But when taking a look at the past, there are hints of a promising future. Some believe a natural disaster that rocked Lorraine is proof that a true comeback is closer than we might think. Homes knocked off their foundations, cars tossed and covered in debris, businesses leveled, a community devastated. Even when the physical scars healed for some, the emotional ones never went away. Seeing a tree go down behind him. And he just ran, 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 ran. But he was just so afraid because he, he had never seen anything that black and that fierce before. Um, is it something that he talked about often with you? He didn't talk about it, but every time, even until he passed in 2001, when there were dark clouds forming in the West, he would get concerned and a little bit edgy. Dennis Sadowski's father was just nine years old on June 28, 1924. He ran from the theater that just moments later would be destroyed. It's a date etched in the fabric of so many families. A deadly tornado touched down in Sandusky and made its way east to Lorraine. It damaged the bathhouse at the beach, moved into neighborhoods, the east side, downtown, and more taking lives with it. It was my grandfather, and um, he was at the shipyards. He was a fireman at the shipyards. During the tornado, he was told to go and close the door when his foreman seen the storm blurring out west. He ran to open, uh, to close the door, and the smokestack fell and killed him. After that fateful day, Carolyn Sipkowski says her grandmother was left to raise five children alone. Decades later, Carolyn led the charge to get a historical marker in the city to commemorate that day. It was like my personal goal to get the marker. I felt that was very important to the people of Lorraine to have that event marked. It, it affected so many lives. Curator and senior collections manager for the Lorraine Historical Society, Caitlin Donaldson, says there's a natural curiosity to understand how people got through this. Not only did we survive a horrible event, but everyone came out of it helping each other. The community came together to rebuild. And that like philosophy, that mentality is still in Lorraine today. You can see all the warehouses the, yeah, the and, debris and everything. Story, storage houses and so on, all just gone. Over the years, so. Dennis has collected postcards featuring images of the destruction, but some also hold messages about the recovery in the days and weeks after the tornado. Why do you think it's important to preserve this history? It's so important. We, we learn from our past. It's important to know where we're from. Um, we can't forget the people who preceded us and built our society up to what it is. Um, and hopefully that will inspire folks to want to make our lives, our community better today. Well, dozens of people died and thousands lost their homes. Today, there's a ceremony at Lakeview Park in Lorraine at noon to commemorate the 100th anniversary of that tornado. And it's so interesting. I learned a lot about this tornado and how it really brought people together, not just from Lorraine, but from Cleveland and other areas who came in to help. And you know, uh, communication yeah. wasn't as quick and Huge, easy then. Hugely, 100 years ago, mm -hmm. think about it. We didn't have cell phones, we didn't have TV. Right. We didn't even have radars and satellites. So there's no like warning that, mm. this, that this thing's coming. So it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty pretty crazy to see, think back to 20, and 100 years ago. The pictures, mm -hmm. I mean, that for that time, you know, yeah. like they were pretty remarkable. That's all we have, yeah. you know, yeah. those, uh, the, the, those grainy kind of black and white photos. So.